What's up guys? Today I'm going to be talking about friendships. The good and the bad ones. And what does the Bible give us for advice on choosing the right friends? And we're starting right now. Alright everybody, so recently I've been studying about friendships and now i realize that one of the most important things that we are ever going to experience in life is choosing our friends sometimes we don't even choose them they just kind of happen personally i had friends in high school that jumped into my life and changed it forever they may never know the kind of influences they had on me some really good and some really bad they just naturally develop over time as we spend time with the people with the same interests that we have. So what can we find in the Bible that will help us in choosing friends? In Proverbs chapter 17 verse 17 says, A friend loveth at all times, and a brother is born of adversity. They are there for you when you're experiencing your real ups and downs in life. When you're having relationship problems with a teacher, with a boyfriend or girlfriend, or even family members. A true friend, a real friend, loves you at all times. Proverbs chapter 22 verses 24 and 25 says, Make no friendship with an angry man, and with a furious man thou shalt not go, lest thou learn his ways and get the snare to thy soul. We can be influenced more than we actually think. Just looking at somebody with an angry face can give us the same emotions on the inside. The Bible clearly states to avoid someone who's angry all the time. Because if he's angry all the time around you, well, I hope you get the hint. You'll lose good habits, may end up just like them, and you could detrimentally destroy your mental health and physical well-being. In Proverbs chapter 18 verses 24 says, A man that hath friends must show himself friendly, and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Now I was an only child, but those of you that have siblings may understand this text a little bit more when it says that friends stick closer than a brother. Right? And we ourselves have to be a friend to them, sticking close to them, crying when they cry, laugh when they laugh, and actually giving rebukes and correcting them in their faults, all being led on the same journey together. Question of the day, how do you make friends? And what has been your experience, even if they wronged you? Leave a comment down below. See, sometimes we find ourselves alone and we find ourselves in a negative attitude that pushes people away from us. I'm guilty. There are people in my past that I wish I could have been more friendly and more kind to instead of losing credibility with them. But even the best of us have these attitude problems and personality issues. Now, I'm not saying personality needs to change. God can use it. We're not perfect. We can truly live in a better world if we learned how to forgive. Try this. Think of that enemy, that one person that really irritates you, and just say out loud, I forgive him. I forgive her. I forgive blank and so and so. Really practice the compassion that Christ has for us. Then we will truly live in a healthier world walking in the spirit of Christ. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. My name is Joseph, and by the grace of the living God, we will talk to you later.